what if we hold hands? Because the heart is, is the center of breathing. The heart is. It's halfway between the, the oxygen carbon dioxide exchange with the air in the plants and the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchange at the cellular level. It's through the heart that cycles to the lungs, to the cell. I can only go to one lung at a time. Maybe anyway, we'll look at that. Um, so we are one of the loops of uh, the circulatory system. In other words, the heart, you know, goes this way, comes back. It's never broken, it just keeps cycling through the heart. This is the heart here. This could be through an arm, this could be another arm, this could be the brain, this could be the liver, this could be the foot. It's just all one, one unit, unless you cut yourself. There's no break. So I'm gonna go like, I'm gonna just make a little thing like this. Not exactly what we do, but just a little thing and then you pass it on. This is a blood, look the rest. This is a blood cell going through a blood vessel. Do you want to join us? So when you get between you two, Morgan and Rosemary, this was an art. Oh, I'm sorry, I have the heart. <laughs> I didn't realize that I'm at the center. And then, and your artery? Your artery. And so we're sending a blood cell and telling you when we get to Morgan. Oh, I think we got past Well, what, maybe the blood never stops, so it's fine. We just call it Morgan. That was Go another back. cell. Do and at the moment just... that it gets to Morgan and it moves to you, we've gone from an artery to a vein. You're, you're the beginning of the vein, okay. and then you carry it around. So this was carrying more oxygen. This side is carrying more carbon dioxide. <coughs> okay, so between you two is the zone of the isoring. And the zone of the isoring is where fluid, the blood doesn't leave the blood vessels unless we cut ourselves. But there, there's fluid and oxygen and hormones and whatever else is coming into the the interstitial fluid, and there are lots of cells here. And how this all works is, you know, miracle. So it's coming into here, and then whatever the cell is producing, there's the mitochondria, and there's all the organelles, then they're sending substances out through the cell membranes, and you pick it up. The ISO ring. The ISO ring is the zone of the ISO ring because it depends on what's in the interstitial fluid, where that exact change is going to take place. Because it's not a link there. It's not like a, like you have two hands holding. But these are continuous vessels. They're smaller, so that a capillary is small enough for one blood cell to go through. So in a certain way, this was one blood cell going through. <laughs> it was, it's, it's a metaphor and it's not a metaphor. I mean, at that level, it's just one. And there are a lot of, there's not just one, one capillary. They're, they're like, if you go like this with your hands, it would be more like that. From the artery going to the vein, it, it breaks into all these smaller, channels and then the smaller gets into the larger and comes around. So this was from heart 
for the ISO ring to the vein coming back to the heart. That was to the cells. But now we have to imagine if we were larger group where we had more time, we would make a, a, a movement choir to express it. So now it's come here, and now we're now going to go to the lung. The oxygen molecule came here. Now we're going to send it to the lung, so now you would be the lung. Wait, okay, you need to pause because that's confusing to me. First you said oxygen to here, then carbon dioxide. But now you're saying... But we're not the same. Now we're a different set of vessels. Okay. That was a systemic... Okay. So this is now, now an artery. artery. An this art is going to be a, a pulmonary artery and a pulmonary vein, where before it was a systemic artery and a systemic vein. But if we had another circle here, it would be easier. Okay. Or let's just do it. <laughs> so you're the heart. Still. Yeah, I'm still the heart here. The so you're still the systemic. The and then when it comes to me, then it's going to go to... And this is the pulmonary. Uh -huh. And so the lungs are halfway here. I can't see between the lungs. So you're going to be... You're going to be the cell. And who's Basha? <laughs> Basha's the brain. <laughs> <laughs> circulation isn't carrying the oxygen and the carbon dioxide, there's no breathing. We think of the breathing as the external, as the lung, which is it is, and then we go to the cell for internal breathing, but it's the circulatory that connects them. So connecting the blood flow and the breathing, not from the brain going, okay, I remember many years ago exploring, connecting the inhale to so many pulse rate, pulse beats. That was a practice. It was very helpful. Um, feeling the heart rate and and uh, synchronizing it with breath. We're not. That was a brain to cell practice. A, a good one. But this one is more about what is it that the cells inform your brain. What you actually are doing, without counting it, without 